Right guys, welcome back to the channel. We're touched down in Marbella. The whole purpose of this video is going to be telling you guys how to stay on track while still enjoying yourself on holiday. And we'll also give you a wee villa tour because we've rented an absolute belter, so stay tuned for that. We're then going to go to the gym and we'll talk a bit about meal timings, hydration, but also still enjoying yourself and staying on track so you don't lose all that progress you've made in the gym in the last couple of months. Right guys, welcome back to the channel. We're touched down in Marbella. So this is my first content trip of many, I hope we do. So what the plan is and the whole purpose of this video is going to be telling you guys how to stay on track while still enjoying yourself on holiday. We're then going to go to the gym and also get some breakfast. I'm going to talk a bit about meal timings, hydration, but also still enjoying yourself and staying on track so you don't lose all that progress you've made in the gym in the last couple of months. And we'll also give you a wee villa tour because we've rented an absolute belter, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> that's breakfast finished I had an eggs benedict so what I like to do in the morning my morning routine over here is getting up get hydrated get a litre or so in the system and go straight down to this wee cafe down at the harbour eggs benedict protein nice and high just fill me up for the rest of the day so what we're going to do now is we're going to head into the villa we're going to give you a wee tour excuse the mess but we have been here for a few days already all right so let's go right let's go inside then oh Cam you ready camera's on you tidy your room so we've got a big living room here and then be kitchen in the corners. This is where I should be meal prepping my foods, but the Italian on plate of Banus is actually too good, so I've been eating there most days. Big TV that we've not even used, look at the size of that. We've got a cinema room downstairs, which we'll talk about, we'll show you as well. Out here we've got the pool, a couple of the boys chilling. Chris, is your moment to get in it now? So that's the pool area here. Right, we're going to head downstairs now to the basement, we'll see the cinema room. So that's us in the basement now, so we've got a cinema room here, probably a room we'll never use, but it does look cool, so we'll show it there. Bedroom in there as well, and we're going to get a lift now, up to the second floor. It's up the top floor, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Gives us a second. Villa problems. That's yeah. I know. <laughs> I mean, I really should be getting the steps in, not getting the lift, but what's the point of having a lift in the villa if I'm going to use it? <laughs> Yeah, we are the best bit about the whole villa. So we've got a hot tub over there. Obviously got our big lounge bit there as well. And then we've got the view of the pool over here. So that's us up in the terrace doing check-ins. So can't complain with the view from here. It's a bit better than Glasgow. So check-in day to day. So this is where I give my clients all their feedback. Uh, I do it via Loom video, which is a very personal and uh, in-depth check-in that I give my clients once a week. Kind of just going over there a week, talking about their wins they've had, and also talking about some uh, adjustments I'm going to make for the following weeks. And then uh, just have a good chance to get their feeling in general out with the gym as well, because that's a big factor I do look at for my clients. So I am launching my online coaching in a few weeks. So if you want any more information about that, head over to my Instagram and drop me a wee DM. But for now, I'm going to get my check-ins for how are we doing Leo hope you're well thank you very much for your check-in so another very good week for yourself obviously all focusing on strength at the moment both squat and bench have both increased and are absolutely fine Des lifts looking good as well but what we're going to do is we're going to keep you on that same set and rep range for this week and we're going to progress for your bench and squat all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go for triples now three sets of heavy triples i don't want any reps in reserve okay so let's make sure going to each session meal timings are on point energy levels looking good and recovery is looking good what I've done is I've taken some of your accessory work and I've dropped in the set so the volume's a little bit less as it is going to be very taxing on the body, okay? Right guys, we're down here in Club Paddle about to do a pool session with Tony and we're going to finish off some functional work as well to get the heart rate picking up, alright? So what we're going to do is the next episode is going to be a bit more gym related stuff so today's just going to be a bit more of a sort of day in the life give you some tips and obviously how to stay on track. So we're just moving on to a stiff arm pull down right now. The goal of this is just to activate the lats before moving on to a wide grip pull down. Set, just going for three sets, going for 10 to 12 reps. Again, picking a lighter weight, just fully activating the lats, getting blood in the muscles. So one quick wee warm up set. Again, just getting blood into the muscles and then we're going to go a little bit heavier. We're going to go for three sets. We're going to go for eight to 12, just keep the rep range the same. That's another thing I do obviously when training, obviously in the heat. It's going to be a lot more harder, a lot more tiring. So just keep it all nice and simple. Don't make it too complex. So 
we're moving on now to a chest sporty plate loaded uh, row. Again, holding the bottom of the handles, folks hitting the lats, keeping the elbows tucked in. Again, just keeping everything the same today. Everything keep everything three sets, eight to twelve. Vibing. Me and my folks all good at sun is shining. Tell them my feet kicked up like I ain't trying. This is what I want. So again, keeping the sets and the rep range the same. Going on to a close grip cable row. This pull day is very lat focused, so not only focusing up her back at the moment, folks hitting the lats, elbows tucked in, and pinch roll blades together at the top here. I've been on game like E8, sip it too soon that pregame, sign up on two that three way. I just went fast like we like, I just thank God I just say, how can I not yeah, we straight? See the stop game. Right guys, I'm moving on now to an overhand uh, vertical pull down. So when doing this exercise and performing this exercise, you want to really focus and engage in the lats, so that's by driving your elbows into the back pocket. Kid on you've got a tennis ball underneath your armpit and really squeeze the armpits together as you're pulling down to the bottom. Hold for three seconds, squeeze and slowly back up to the top. So that's back now finished, a very quick and intense session. Now moving on to biceps to finish off the pull session before heading down to do a little bit of crossfit and functional training. So I'm a little bit of my comfort zone, but we'll see how it goes. I ain't look back. Right guys, it's now time for me to get an absolute paste in now, so moving on to the more functional sort of crossfit side of it. Obviously on holiday now, going out a bit more, eating a bit more, so I like to still keep my heart ticking and getting the blood flowing. So I'm going to go and do some circuits. Uh, Tony's taking me through it all, so I'm not exactly sure what he's got lined up, but it'll be exciting to see and we'll see if I actually manage it. So we're going to start off with three or four rounds, see how we're feeling with uh, rope pull. Then I'm going to go push the sledge back down, rope pull back up, sledge back down. Head over onto the farmer carries, right? We're going to carry the kettlebells, just walk at a steady pace up and down, then straight onto the skier. I said to Tony, what about the rest? And he just went, you're resting the skier. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, the fast life, the fast living. They see the ambition, they know I'm past driven. Look, we are not the same, this is not a game. I've been swerving through the city in and out of lanes. Yeah, cause if I see it, then I want it, then you better know I got it. And the watches, I'm about to do the damn thing. I'm an outlaw, you can never catch me. I'm in first place, you can never. These are the moments, only got one life. This is your moment, whether wrong or right. So that's a wrap on the pool session with Tony, so we'll obviously finish off some functional stuff, it's a bit different than my sort of usual training. So it's important to know when using the concept machines that it's not about the speed you go at. If you're trying to burn calories, it's about how powerful you go from A to B. So obviously speed's good, it helps build momentum as well, but really focusing, pulling down, pushing as much power as you can from top to the bottom, vice versa from your other machines away in close to you, alright? That's us just back from the gym, so our plan is to chill out the pool for the rest of the day. I just want to quickly talk about the three components that I really focus on when I'm on holiday to make sure I'm still enjoying myself, but also still staying on some kind of track, alright? So the first component is going to be steps. Always try and get your steps in. It's quite easy being on holiday as well. You're all constantly walking everywhere. I'm targeting trying to get at least 20,000 a day. I think I'm sitting at 28,000 already and it's only four o'clock in the afternoon. So steps is vital to get in. So component number two is talking about meals. And obviously you're on holidays, you want to be tracking your foods and you want to be going out and enjoying yourself. So what I do is I set myself a target of at least 100 grams of protein. That's just fill my muscles with the correct nutrients. This might seem a low amount of protein from what I'm usually on from my previous videos, but I do like to promote a flexible lifestyle that you can enjoy yourself on. And me hitting this 100 grams target, which make me feel a bit better when I get home and not as sluggish when I'm training again. Personally for myself, being on holidays is a time for me to be flexible with my diet so I don't bother tracking at all. So when I go out at restaurants, I'm eating out most of my meals. I always try to pick something that's got fairly high protein. I don't look at fats or calories or anything like that as I know the weight I've put on will be water weight. And by the time I'm home or after my holiday, I can flush that out over the next couple of weeks. So component number three is training. And we're going to talk a bit more about that in the next video. But what I'll do is I'll offer in the next video some different sort of uh, splits you can try out. Obviously, when you're on holiday, you don't want to be wasting your time in the gym training. So you want to get in there and back out the door, making sure that the sessions are nice and intense as well as short. And for us, being at a place like Marbella, we've got access to the absolutely brilliant gyms outdoor. It really 
it motivates you to go and try them out. So make sure if you are in a place an outdoor gym, get yourself down there and try it out. So that's a wrap on the full video now. So hopefully you enjoyed it and had an insight into kind of how to stay on track whilst enjoying yourself on holiday. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to head back to Paddle Club. I'm training my mate Ben. We'll be hitting a push session. Stay back tight, lads. Please cut